Greetings, galactic guardians of the new Eden, protectors of Gaia and all her children. We are activated, we are awakened, and we are rising through divine covenants and celestial decrees from our higher selves and the highest order. We are the ones the world has been waiting for. We are anchoring in the 5D age of Aquarius. Codes and frequencies. We have reached critical mass star blossoms. And now through the activation of our vision of our co-creative infinite potential, we manifest heaven on earth through our heart center, through our visions, through our pure intent for all of humanity. So many intense energies, so much beauty shining through the layers and layers of conscious reality. Today, many codes coming in through the Schumann resonance. We had a 14 amplitude overtone with the five energies coming in. We had 136 M1.5 or greater earthquakes, more activations in the sacred portal in the powerful volcano of Kilauea of Goddess Pele with more activations today, more eruptions. This morning we had a 4.2 in the Andes Mountains in Argentina, the Kundalini of Pachamama in the Northeast Pacific Rise with the Lemurian Energy 4.4 and the Crown of Lemuria, the Queen 4.4, who had the 8.8 encoded. Nicaragua 4.6, Russia 3.3, the Sacred Portal of Western Greece 4.8 with the 12 of the Divine Goddess, South of Alaska 4.5 with the 9 code, the Council of Nine, Puerto Rico with the Atlantean Energy 3.6, also of the 9 code. We had a activation in the heart, the center of the United States, Oklahoma, Moreland, 3.1, Indonesia, 5.2, Baja California, Mexico, 3.3, 3. China, Southern, Qinghai, 4.3 with the 7 energy, Indonesia, 5.1, Puerto Rico again, 3.2, and then again, an hour ago, it is 7.12 Pacific Time, 4.3 in Argentina, in the Sacred Andes Mountains, 166, 166 kilometers depth. This is right on the Tropic of Capricorn. 24.292 latitude, 67.086 longitude at 226 UTC. The whole ring of fire activated, lit up the heart center, lit up green, the green of the Emerald City, connected with the red of Uluru, the solar plexus, the heart and the solar are vibrating in resonance and harmonics. Higher 5D, higher dimensional tones of the celestial spheres. So we have many things to transmit today, much information, many codes. First, I'd like to thank everyone for your support and pledges on Patreon and donations. We are relying 100% on donations and pledges on Patreon to keep this channel going and keep bringing these daily transmissions to the world. So thank you all. If you'd like to support our work and mission, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. Also, thank you everyone that's supporting my sacred condor, purchasing her goddess totems. We're continuing to give out free training. Now, if you're already on our Patreon, you're getting most of this free training. So this is for those that are purchasing my sacred condors goddess totems on lunagoddessart.com that'll take you to her etsy page you could purchase one of these handmade dolls that she makes these ornaments the i call them totems because they're powerful energies encoded within each one of these unique gifts so thank you all for supporting her there we start today's transmission from Divine Sister of the Light Christi Mantis, the emergence of the new earth sun. As our divine sun becomes ready to emerge as its higher self, so do we, as within, so without, always. The sun is the projector of our earth experience. It maintains the collective playing field for our human experience, 
Our inner sun, the solar plexus, is the projector of our individual experience within the larger one. It determines the path of our unique journey due to our beliefs, our vibration, our higher purpose. We have reached a combustion point within our collective experience. A new sun is ready to burst forth from within the old. It is pulsing with joy and eagerness. The sun beings have been waking me from my sleep in their excitement at what is coming. It is the higher self of our current sun and is ready to project a new divine experience for all of us, the new earth paradigm. We may experience a solar flash as the new sun emerges from within the old, letting us know that the new projection is online, available to be experienced in its fullness. Many of us will experience a solar flash within our own solar plexus at the same time, connecting us fully into this new, higher projection of experience. Some may connect so fully into it that it becomes their new lived experience immediately. Some may move back and forth between the two projections for a while as they steady themselves within the new vibration. Some may take a little longer to connect in at all, which is entirely okay because all will connect in eventually. The two earth projections or experiences will be overlaid for some time until the old one is no longer needed. When the old projection is no longer needed or required, because all of humanity will be living in the higher dimensional new earth projection, our old sun will merge fully with the new sun and they will become one. Uluru represents the solar plexus of the earth and is now fully activated and online. As within, so without, all our suns are aligned, you could say. We are all ready. The Dragon Collective had told me that this shift in paradigm is the next logical step the vibrational balance for it to occur is just right, and that there is no stopping it from happening. The vibration of trust will carry us through. This is a homecoming for us, and we are all so deserving of it. We have lived this confined experience for long enough and are ready for the freedom of a higher dimensional state of living. And today from Ra James, Divine Bro Star of the Light, we have made it through the Solstice Gateway in the New Age of Aquarius. We have shifted seasons and will now move back into the light. Right now there is still a huge influx of crystalline light still pouring in. These waves of crystalline energies are full of light codes that are activating our DNA. We are going to continue to be in a stream of very powerful energy all week. That's why this is a good time to use the energies. It's a great time to set goals or to get a plan. The ascension upgrades are continuing to come in and people are really starting to notice it. Everything is now changing from our bodies to the collective. These cosmic energies are bringing a new frequency with them. The grand conjunction between Jupiter and Saturn has helped us move into a new cycle. The light of the solstice star has brought a special activation for humanity. We have now entered into the age of Aquarius, the fifth dimension. It's very important that we are healing and taking good care of our energies. We have to be of a very high vibration to fully embody these new codes. We have done a lot of clearing during 2020 and will continue to clear anything not aligned with the new. That's why doing some type of healing work or clearing of our energies is so important during this time. The solstice is taking us into a new age in Capricorn season. This energy shift will set the tone for the next several months. We have stepped into some fresh energies. This week will be bringing up old wounds. Today the moon travels over Chiron and Aries. Things may be surfacing from your childhood or even from past lives. Our systems will continue to purge out the programming of the old. Thursday the moon and Mars meet in Aries. There is extra stress as we move through the rest of this holiday season. It's important that you are being gentle with yourselves and others right now. We have a lot of work to do as we prepare to continue to shift an entire collective into much higher frequencies. We are going through a major transformation right now. This will become more and more apparent as we move through 2021. Time to really step into these energies. Those of us that have manifesting gifts are meant to be helping to create the new. It's a great time to get creative with these new energies. Rod James from SparksofDivineLightHealing.com Today from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Paul Dobry Carey. The floodgates of fifth dimension have been fully opened through the combined efforts of lightworkers, starseeds, and walking masters of light, anchoring the light codes of sacred heart and mind as unity consciousness. 
For years you have been taught to follow rules, laws, doctrines, rituals, and religious instruction before you can raise yourself from humble lowliness to a position of standing before the gates of heaven. You are never shown that the key to heaven already exists within you, within your own heart center as the Christ consciousness. The birth of the Christ took place within the overshadowing of third-dimensional archetypes, the sheep, the shepherd, and the wise sovereign king. These roles have been played out by all of you through millennia of incarnations. As the gates of fifth dimension unlock and the combined will of a billion souls seek to push the doors wide open and pour their love out to one another, the doors of third dimension slam shut behind you. No longer will the sacred light language codes continue to hold together structures that maintain personal gain through the suffering of others. Those that seek positions of control and authority using the lower energetic vibrations to support their love of power will give way to the combined resonances of recognition through wisdom, skill, and the power of love. Give way to the natural flow that is occurring, let it go, was about making a choice to release what no longer served purpose in your life. Let your love flow is now about bringing forward the energies of your authentic self and showing who you truly are to the world, a self-realized, self-responsible, sovereign, divine being of light. Welcome, golden age. Welcome, fifth dimension. Welcome, divine being. With loving blessings, Paul Dobrikeri from PolarisAB.com. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, Rebirth Awakening. Know your construct has reached a new milestone to view your world in a new light perspective, a new way of being in unity and love, to feel the essence of Mother awakened in your heart, to see the great success, crystalline upgrade, the journey to light, leading up to 2021 to continue grounding, resting, integrating as you continue the great light unfoldment. A pure light frequency is the new currency a high vibrational love spectrum for those who follow this frequency, who align the pure thoughts and intent is the true light way to feel the new earth alignment deep within your soul, alive and awakened within every being as you align to the new ways, old ways, journey to light. Be love, see, unite in light. KarenLithica.com And today from Divine Bro Star of the Light, David Alexander Lightfoot energy update welcome to the new world yes people we made it wow the big cosmic shift was amazing and is still in progress we are now going through a purification process many have experienced the strong energy changes and updates do know that this week and maybe days into the new year 2021 contractile lower energies continue to release from your system so take time for yourself as all needs to balance and adapt People at lower and contractile energy and frequency, including the negativity in the 3D world, will try to hook back into our energy, but it will no longer affect you so much as it did in the past. We have shifted, and though we are connected to both the 3D and 5D realm, we will find it easier to navigate through any negativity in our path, as we are at a higher frequency ourselves, energy that is more grounded now. We have grown stronger and have become more powerful. We will continue to open up more feeling safe with clear divine guidance to change everything. We no longer want building a better, brighter future for all. The lower consciousness in the world will try to trigger you as some, and I myself have already noticed. However, to be true to your path of light and love, continue to let go anything negative and what no longer serves you. Energies will continue to shift faster as the new light codes and frequency received will support our new chosen and well-deserved new path of unity. It feels good to have a future and home again. Many blessings and happy holidays. Love, David. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel, Immensely powerful things are happening. I literally was laid flat this morning as powerful energies coursed through me and things were again revealed through me and activated within me, which goes beyond words or expression. The earth is surrounded by legions upon legions of angels, archangels, cosmic hierarchy, and the divine source. Indeed, such is this time that all I can say is that the new Jerusalem is rising, and with it, wave upon wave upon wave of ascension into the new earth, and the new golden age for those who are ready to be lifted. 
Indeed, I was clearly shown how the old earth and the immense dark mass was dissolving and replaced with beautiful golden fire energy, which was burning and transmuting it all into the highest Christed energy. I saw how souls who had risen from all over the world were gathering as one in unity and harmony and peace. Indeed, the power of love is being returned, and those who are ready will experience their heart center opening to such a degree as never before. More than this I was given to me, but that I cannot share as yet. Let those who are ready to hear, hear. Let those who are ready to rise, arise. Let those who are ready to be transfigured, be transfigured. From JudithKusel.com Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Pamela. Dear ones, you are about to enter a new era. More and more cosmic Christ energies are being sent to earth as you are continuing your ascension journey. The great ascended being, Jesus the Christ, was a profound conduit of the cosmic Christ energies, and for the past few weeks and until January 6th, he is on a special assignment to work very closely with those who invite his presence. The cosmic Christ energies are designed to ignite your divine inner light, to remove all old energies, and to uplift you to your rightful place as a divine expression of God. You are it, with every thought, feeling, word, and action, you are expressing either your alignment with this truth or your separation from it. Consider this. What if for just one day you would consciously only think, feel, speak, and act like a divine expression of God? Begin your day in complete alignment with God by meditating in stillness. Then purposefully express love and appreciation for everything in your life. If life throws something unpleasant your way, pause for a moment before you respond. Connect with your heart, say in your mind, I am divine peace and harmony at all times, and then reply in a peaceful manner. This might startle some people for a moment, as they are used to engage a certain way with you. Give it a few minutes and continue to hold the energy of peace and harmony and repeat the statement, I am divine peace and harmony at all times. Any tension will subside and harmony will enter. At the end of the day, before going to sleep, hold the vision for what you wish to create in your life. Just as the creator and expression of God that you are, try this just as a playful experiment just for one day and watch what happens. You might choose to do this for another day and another day and so forth. Soon you are bridging the gap between your human experience and the experience as the divine expression of God. Know that all is well, beloved ones. Welcome home. We are walking beside you every step of the way. Dear ones, you are loved beyond measure always. I am Archangel Michael, and I bring you this truth. And from the Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens, December 22, 2020, the Epoch of the Water Bearer, or whatever else you wish to call it. Lately, friends have been asking me how to cope with what is happening and what is coming, and every time the same answer comes. The only way to adjust and prepare for all life's changes that are coming from now on is through spirit. The mental part of the human needs to allow spirit to enlighten it. Of course, people have a different idea of what spirituality is, but put it simply, everyone is called to open their true spirit from within, get to know and heal their self, and shift from a materialistic, egocentric focus to a spiritual one, which includes true remembrance, loving choices, respectful creations, equality, and cooperations for the good of all. A new time is beginning and we are just on the transitioning stage. We are currently watching two main realities existing in great contrast. One that cultivates and experiences fear, separation, sickness, AI contamination of all life and control. And one which cultivates and experiences unity, forgiveness, love, organic self-love, restoration, liberty and purification. Eventually these two realities will reach a splitting point. By then, most people will have moved into the second reality, the one of awakening and restoration. For this to happen, the disillusion of the corrupted system as we know it is necessary to take place. That is why we are seeing such great challenges, and there are more to come. As humanity, it seems necessary that we go through these challenges in order for the people who still resist the change and still think only as separate units to become aware, to get ready, and realign with that which is already happening, which is the birth of unity consciousness. Most of humanity is still focused on the outer events and the fear of loss of materialistic privileges 
and misses to recognize that this is the arrival of a new epoch for Earth. If people would stop for a while and turn their focus inwardly, they would be amazed by what is happening. True miracles are taking place, and life is transforming right in front of our eyes. Our cells are transforming. This is the greatest blessing of our lives, not something to fear. This is the time of the water bearer. The water bearer is pouring water on earth, but this is not an ordinary water. This is the stream of liquid light, plasma of the universal father and the universal mother in union, which symbolizes the opening of the ancient gates. This is the announcement of returning to true eternal life. Not everyone will choose to follow this new epoch, but most will, so we are here to assist and facilitate this process. There is also a small part of souls that would choose to go through ascension process and skip the steps of the new epoch. Both of the above choices lead to true eternal life, and it is only a matter of choice of how one wants to proceed. On the other hand, some hopefully fewer ones will choose to follow the descending path of further entrapment in the AI system, which will eventually lead to their second permanent death of the soul. This is the time that ends games and lies, the time that ends bypassing, the time that brings non-believers face to face with the truth, the time that ends irresponsible reactions and childish resistances. This is the time of growing up and accepting self-responsibility because what one practices affects the whole and vice versa. When one is happy, everyone is happy, and when the community is happy, the individual can be happy and safe too. This is the message of the new epoch. We are all one great organism, and we have been poisoned to function in a separative way as enemies since a long time. Now the poison is leaving our veins. It is the plasma which will be healing our blood, and plasma can only be processed when one is open to the truth, when one is open to spirit. Erini, spirit is real, true life is real. From Divine Bro Star of the Light, Pars Kute, the golden age of light has officially begun. Photonic light is pouring in and activating our light bodies right now as we speak. Every cell in our bodies are being healed. The past is over. Our inner being is filled with love and light. We are now surrounded by millions and millions of galactic beings of light. Our galactic families, all beings of angelic kingdom and all ascended masters cheering us on for the victory of the light. Let's allow our rebirth with sacred love of one, Pars Kute, from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh. Quick and sudden endings are here today, opening new pathways that are better aligned with your new evolved awareness. You are so close to birthing the life you have manifested. Opportunities are here today to get you back home to having it all. The 144,000 are walking away from the past into the unknown. The light has continued guiding us towards our new earth, life cycle. There's nothing more to do with the past but move on, healed, healthy, and whole. Your new life is free of deceit and envy. The past six months have removed those karmic contracts for good. This required isolation and not having a firm understanding of the truth, clarity is now available supporting your power restoration to continue moving forward and moving on. Today's justice is over the galactic family and the star brotherhood that was also infected by the devil. They have been used, just as the divine masculine were used, to attempt to block the bride of Christ and fulfillment of this prophecy. God has intervened and broken those spells, flipping us out of being under attack from above and below. That will never happen again. This is God's promise. Now that these spells are broken, the galactic ground crew of the Sisterhood of the Rose can continue adhering to their prophecy to birth the new timelines of Christ and Christ consciousness. It is your choice today to continue forward in the prophecy we call Christ. There are a lot of blessings waiting for you ahead in the next level of ascension and mastery of the Holy Grail. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology. Mars and Aries square Pluto and Capricorn. We arrive at the third and final explosive encounter between Mars and Pluto. This battle began at the end of July. Since then, the collective atmosphere has been strained, volatile, argumentative, violent, frustrated. Power struggles and toxic behavior have been evident, and Eris, exactly conjunct Mars yesterday, has been intent on rooting this out. It may have felt as though we were dwarfed by insolvable problems, overshadowed by a stronger power, 
endlessly confronted by fear. For some, there may have been fury, headaches, burnout, arguments, a constant sense of being triggered. But now we've reached the final resolution, the third time's a charm. The block gives way, most likely because we understand now what needs to be done. Change arrives, energy is released. Now we know what is in our control. Now we know what to do. Now we have the courage to enact the necessary changes. Now we have the chance to harness our inner fire and burst back to life from the ashes. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Archangelic Calendar Gaia is in Circe's will. Circe, our galaxy, who acts upon the infinite universe's will. All aspects involved seem to agree that fire is the theme of the day. There is so much quickly changing and there isn't an aspect of existence that does not concur. We experienced a tough shift that would have knocked a lesser universe off its hinges. The change is undoubtedly a result of the lower timeline collapses. How it manifests will be a product of how well engineering did in isolating the higher timelines. There is a fifth dimensional portal that is open to coincide with the Christmas star and solstice. This moment is a fantastic occurrence that will bring great positivity and love. A new column is now featured in the calendar, which we have nicknamed the Festival of Lights. This marks an influx of intense light energy. It is after the Sphinx column. This nickname is also inclusive of the Hindu, Jewish, and other traditions that marks these events. The influx of light energy is fostered by a full solar eclipse and solar reset that aligned perfectly. The other new column is sparked by the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction, which brings in a higher form of the upgraded Christ consciousness energy nickname Christus Incrementum, which will now be marked on the calendar as well. We are making incredible quantum leaps in our dream state. We feel it in our waking state, but it is a commonplace and individualized in our dreams. If you are frequently waking, it will take you some time to get used to this. 5D news and general engineering. Nibiru is highly magnetized and ready to assimilate ancient energies with modern progression. We mention electricity because it helps us understand that electricity is a primary vehicle that drives all of this physically and to a lesser degree the non-physical. Much like a maestro, Nibiru is a blending the combining energies with our DNA masterfully. This task is appropriate for the group as they have a good deal to do with our body's engineering. It feels like a doctor observing his patient from a distance as they administer many modalities from afar. Isaac Newton knew that the Egyptian pyramids would be pivotal to our macro movement to 5D, he understood that the pyramids were once high-tech equipment, and it wouldn't take too much for it to return as such. Celestial beings will take a direct path from the Saturn and Jupiter conjunction and announce themselves very dramatically because of it. The situation is a separate event from the Christus Incrementum about to avalanche the Earth. Amazingly, we started to receive items from the Vatican. This happening is an incredible turn of events and a sign that we are certainly on a miraculous and unprecedented timeline. If you are wondering how they arrived, look up at the night sky. The earth governments are in a frantic rush to align themselves with new star races and new star collectives. Lucky for our legions, we have bonds with the star races that go beyond this world. We have trusted relationships bonded with eons of healthy working relationships. If the earth leaders think that the ultimate power aligns with the best star beings, then our legions are easily the most dominant force in the galaxy. The Orion Nebula is filled with helpful friends. Through ritual and purpose, the beings there are sending us blessings. You will notice anomalies from that sector as they perform the energy work. This is intentional as the parties involved incite giant auras. This blessing is also an effect of sending so much love to our neighbors. They have answered in kind. A warrior is not impatient. A warrior waits for the perfect time. Never a strike set with haste. Never a motion too much or too little, the warriors say. Philosophical Buffet. Archangels love faith in infinitely expanding creator source, even more so than they do when someone has faith in them personally. Divinity is nameless, and it does not matter what you choose to call it as long as your faith in the macro is strong. The logistics of how you believe is irrelevant. It is a personal relationship with divinity that the angels wish you to seek. Wisdom is only relevant for a brief period and for sure has an expiration date. 
the aha moment that created the wisdom was appropriate in that now, which could be thousands of years ago. While we can find value in words of wisdom, we should always take them with a grain of salt, as it was an epiphany for another place and time. Everything cannot be spelled out and presented to the seeker. There is a self-learning level needed for mastery. Stop expecting everything to come in a box with instructions and brought by a friendly face. Research, read, look, search, meditate. But one must stop acting as if wisdom is an entitlement. There must be a level of humility that one must have to expand one's heart and mind. Entitlement is a function of modern society ramming schooling down a child's throats. It fosters a herd mindset regarding learning. I am not your guru, I am not your teacher. To find your teacher, look into the depths of your soul. Even after you have located your inner teacher and you have learned well, you can never teach anyone as well as their inner self can. Keep this truth in mind moving forward. There are way more well-established false teachers than there are ones who are ambassadors to divinity. Many of these leaders corrupt their work by their fame and thus their message became a reflection of popularity. This situation is a microcosm of the truth, that the only teacher for anyone is their inner, higher self. Everyone else will fall short, even if they do not have evil intentions. There are billions of people on this planet to have less than a handful of governing ideologies representing them seems ineffective at best. Time to give real choices to humanity, not the lesser of evils. Real, viable options that resonate. Thoughts are impulses from your spirit interpreted by your mind in an organized way. Thoughts also come from lesser sources and you must differentiate between the two. Society has taught people to be fake. There isn't much real about the everyday person walking around. They are dolled up and made up to match the ideas of current acceptable trends. It takes a great deal of effort to be authentic when artificial programming dictates how you should look, act, be and feel. This situation is not the same sentiment as culture, which unites all people in love and appreciation, but the monkey-see-monkey-do mentality of the general population, which happens unconsciously via subliminal programming. Culture is a beautiful way to express appreciation for your past, and is a brilliant way to teach others about your macro community. No culture is more significant than any other, and it would be beneficial to see a massive blending of all of them while remaining in a stance of authenticity. Earth speaks through nature and instincts, rhythms and feelings. The galaxy Surzi communicates through electrical impulses that send shivers down your spine and goosebumps down your skin. The universe will talk to you via life experience and the multiverse will show you its presence via miraculous manifestations. When we start to pay attention to where energy comes from, we can begin to work on the different dimensions within ourselves consciously. The direction you face as you are doing something is significant. Energies come in from every angle. Aligning your third eye to specific points gives specific benefits. Tholth writes a good deal about the benefits of laying down for an hour in the generally known directions, but he implied that all of the directions had benefits as well. Someone who is extremely sensitive could easily chart this if they felt so inclined. Strength comes from within. You cannot move a mountain with your fists, but you can with your heart. Where does instinct end and cognition begin? The tools and the assignments for today are in the link in the description below this video. From the ArchangelicCalendar.com Today from the Zolkin Times Ken 9 Red Solar Moon the number nine is called solar and its keywords are realizing intention and pulse. The energy of a wave spell has a discernible dynamic pattern all linked by the color of the day that started off the wave spell. If day one is red, then day five, nine, and the thirteenth are all red as well. These are like gear changes. Today is the ninth day and the most intense shift in energy. Number nine is very powerful and therefore wherever you put your energy today, that high gear will speed things up for you. Today is red moon which represents purify, flow and universal water. The moon tries to show us that relinquishing control is actually good for us. It forces us to chill out and relax. If you have had trouble letting go lately, ask yourself why. Have you lost your trust in the universe? Do you lack confidence in the future? These fears actually mess our plans up because we always interfere with them. As far as you know, the universe may have something for you just around the corner. But if your impatience diverts your attention, you can miss out. 
Today, however, is no ordinary red moon day. It's red solar moon, and as the name suggests, it's sending out mixed messages. The number nine is solar power, and it's full of intention. How to deal with this polar opposite of the moon? Easy. Make it your intention to chill out and go with the flow. Insist that distractions and dramas do not get in the way of your downtime. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Solar Moon, Kin 9, 23 December 2020, Realizing Life Flow, 23-12-2020, equal 23-12-22, equal 5-3-4, equal 12, equal 3, 23, the Royal Star of the Lion, Support, Protection, Strength, 5, Freedom, Liberation, Change, 12, Acquiring Wisdom and Strength, 3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity. 4. Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth. Kin 9 equal Destiny, Service, Compassion, Endings. A magical feminine flowing day, cleansing our new earth. Day 9 in the Red Mother Dragon wave spell where we are incubating in the womb of creation. We are being guided to focus on nurturance and compassion for ourselves and others and our planet. Realizing the importance of self-love and the giving and receiving of unconditional love in order to grow and flourish and be born anew. Today we are using our intention to pulse forth our loving energy, purifying all resistance in order to realize the flow of the universal waters through our existence and our new world. Nova Gaia's waters are breaking. Tone of creation, solar tone 9 in the spiritual realm, action realizing, power pulse, essence intention. The ninth day of the Red Dragon wave spell is the one that gives the last push prior to manifestation. The solar phase is where we wake up to the fact that our will affects the reality we experience, so we begin pulsing, extending our intent into realization. The focus in this wave spell is nurturing and self-love, which forms a solid foundation for everything else that follows. Solar tone kin have beautiful, radiant hearts that have the power to melt other people's heart walls. When our hearts are filled with love, we can pulsate that frequency throughout eternity, which melts all density, resistance, and negativity. Everything yields to the power of pulsing unconditional love. As we focus our intention on being more loving beings, we realize greater flow in our lives as we become one with the forces of creation. Unleash your sensuality and passion today, allowing your inner goddess to dance and flow with the universal waters of creation, the goddess has returned to earth in all her feminine glory. Today's question is how can I realize the creative flow of unconditional love and pulse with all creation? Divine blessings for your beautiful flowing dance, pulsing with the goddess of love. In La Cac a la Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 9, Red Solar Moon. The mantra, the code for today is, I pulse in order to purify. Realizing flow, I seal the process of universal water. With the solar tone of intention, I am guided by the power of life force. And with the power of your life force, beloved beings of light, let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your synchronicities, your visions, what you see shining through on the new earth. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell next to subscribe to get notification on future uploads. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmission. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. I'd like to also thank everyone for your support, your continued support through Patreon. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Bro, Star of the Light, Caesar Abrao, for your pledge and support on Patreon today. If you'd like to support our work and mission, you can make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. If you haven't checked it out yet, I posted a video a couple days ago of my encounter with the great white spirit horse in Death Valley on the second day I was there on my journey to my sacred condor which with powerful activations. I tell a little story and I also play the Native American flute, the crow, my crow flute. I put a lot of heart and soul and energy into that transmission and many people are feeling it. I've received many comments and messages about this. This was a very sacred moment 
between myself and the great spirit, the great mystery. There's multiple pictures and several short videos of this great white horse, a wild horse that approached me with her herd. They were surrounding me. And then the leader, this white mare, came up to me and transmitted certain knowledge, certain energy, and a certain power to get me to my queen. And if you're new to Patreon, I have over 100 posts and transmissions on there. So it's hard to find some of my trainings and teachings. So I created a way to find them easier through my community page on my YouTube channel. So you can just go to my channel and click on the community link and it'll take you to my latest trainings and teachings and our past teachings. It's archived in a better way than Patreon with uh, links to each video training. So we have some Qigong trainings, some meditations, and other transmissions that are only on Patreon. So that was the easiest way for now I could find until there's Patreon comes up with a better solution. So thank you all for your patience. Thank you for your continued support. And thank you everyone for supporting my queen, my sacred condor, and her art business uh, with the goddess totems. These are all handmade by my sacred condor out of wool. It's called felting. It's a special technique. And each one is unique, custom, beautiful colors, beautiful energy, and it's encoded with the divine union, the divine freedom, divine abundance codes. So you can purchase these on lunagoddessart.com. And for everyone that makes the purchase, we will send you a special video training. And this is something that's archived in our Patreon. So if you're on Patreon, you already get this training, but it's a special training I only teach to students of mine in the past and to our supporters, our people, our team on Patreon. So thank you all again. Thank you for your support and your patronage and for helping us to continue on our mission. So right now we are relying 100% for our daily living on our pledges on Patreon and donations. So we appreciate each and every one. Much gratitude and many blessings to all of you. And we have many great things coming. We have some guided meditations planned that the Condor and I will transmit together to all our patrons. We also are going to be giving away many gifts, many special totems, many spiritual gifts, and doing many trainings, many meditations, and many ceremonies and transmissions. So we look forward to the new year, to the new earth, to the new age of Aquarius. So have a beautiful and blessed holiday season and a happy new earth. We will end this transmission from one of our sacred mantras, our sacred chant. So put your awareness in your heart center, allow your mind to resonate with your sacred center, your zero point, your still center. Take a deep breath, let go, relax, and go with whatever energy arises, whatever you hear, whatever you feel, let go into that energy. Om Hring Kling Sidi Sidi Hum Om Hring Kling Sidi Sidi Hum Om Hring Kling Sidi Sidi Hum Om Hring Cling, city, city, hum, hum, hum. We love you all. Namaste.